Yo, what's up? We're here with another video today. We got we got the video that I've been talking about for the past couple of days. You know what I'm saying? So, well, we get to we get it's it's going down. Okay, grand summoners ratings reviews comment reviews. Let's see what people got to say about this game. I I, I want to see. I want to laugh. I want this to be so funny, but so good, but so bad at the same time. <laughs> this has to be cool. Uh, I definitely want to see what people say. Um, thank you all guys for the support. So you know what it is. Let's get into this video, man. I have got this pulled up on my phone. Grand Summoners has 4.2 stars right here. Let's see what the this is the main one that they have up here. It's four stars. And they said the game is pretty fun. Unit pulls rates mostly bad for free to play players because only the first pool is a guaranteed five star. Pi pay pools are have always have guaranteed five stars equipment 10 uh, 10 times pools always have a guaranteed five star for 20 crystals less unit pools they have a collaboration unit so far as kill kill one punch man recording is a slime east collab comes as units equipment and series special pool with a currency and selling unwanted units called acne pools they do giveaways valuable crystals anniversary Free unit choice limited from the pool sometimes, but they didn't know that. Choice of 15 stars, 14 star equip, uh, one, uh, excuse me, one to five star, one to four star equips, um, star equips, developers of AMAs and Reddit twice so far. It's twice a night piece of communication since most of the devs are often silent of the few community man manager posts and posting to their own forums. Overall, I say it's worth playing, but do not go too hard spinning for pulls because the guaranteed five star unit can be worthless. The five star isn't featured on the banner. The gameplay is good. Find materials, XP, gold is easy and painless. Um, unit art is good and it's appealing style. I really love the experience and there's a lot of great ones. Okay. I feel like this person really, really had a, a good experience with this one. Um, pretty cool, pretty decent review right here. But we want to go to the critical. <laughs> We we'll check out the most. We're gonna check them all of them, but I want to see. I want to see the bad stuff that people. You know what? Let's go to most recent. Yeah, most recent. Oh my gosh. Okay. Love the game, but increased summoning rates. Good. That's all for me. Amazing. I love this game. Great game for any RPG fan. Amazing crossovers. This game is great, but it needs work. Animations, 3D play, friendly, new team, supportive art games. This establishes brilliant. Certain units doesn't stack. Yeah, so the thing I gotta say about this, they don't say what units can stack with each other. It's not an in-game feature. Of course, they have that in like the official Discord and stuff like that of what units is type A, type B, um, type EX2, EX1, all that stuff. They have that in the Discord, and I can put that in my Discord if y'all guys want it. And that the type of stuff like that it goes in game. It needs to be in game. Um, so yeah, it's pretty decent reviews. Um, people saying download it, they love it. The love mostly people come to Grand Summoners because of the crossovers. Um, but usually it's rare if people find it on their own, but people do find it on their own or just you know watch YouTubers like it. Sleepy. Oh my gosh, a one star review we got to read this impossible to advance without play i played for a week it was fun until i encountered missions that was the only strongest few players can team up to beat meaning it's virtually impossible to get material to limit break a strong character i mean so after a while you get to the beginning of the game right you're gonna after a while it it tries to i can tell they have like ten dollar ten dollar like limit break stones and ten dollars like limber break packs and you get five five limber break stones like 20 crystals stuff like that all those packs in there so they try to promote that so you can get like a little boost when you're starting off the game but yeah so free to play it's been so excuse me it's been so long since i've done it but it's just like when you're starting out usually i work on like i'll try to limit break one two units at the same time or i would do a uh and once i get those two units I would do a one unit each month. I would do that one one unit each month, or I just do one limit break stone for each four units for my main team every single time. It's um I understand what Grand Summoners Good Smile try to do. You know, try to get you to play the game a little bit more. Um, so like, say if I needed, say if the Godzilla event was here and you had to grind it to get limit break stones like on the exchange shop. Um, it, yes, it kind of sucks uh, for you to do that solo by yourself because you don't really have any units that's 
can upgrade and everything like that. Most, but most of the time, um, if you join discourse, if you join community, uh, like some other community, get some communication out there, Reddit or anything like that. Um, ask, ask for help, get into multiplayer, ask for help so they can, uh, help you grind through the event or carry you. This, this, uh, that's another way, just like even my discord or OP discord or the official discord, I don't know, I'm not in the official discord, maybe they have a help section, but in my discord and OP discord, there's a section where you just come in and you can just ask in mine you can just go in general chat and just ask for help ops they have a section for you can just ask for help so you want to do anything like that how to recover data do i need to say anything about this anything at all <laughs> dude i am a troll man i'm a troll oh we got two little good ones here okay game is frustrating probably the worst gotcha game i ever played the crossovers are cool however the race are than banners are super low and it's pretty much to pay to win some events can be completed with a certain character if you don't have them it's just meh this conversation uh for mistakes is terrible then we're gonna go to the second one where it says avoid this game false advertisement so developers continue to falsely advertise the game and outside of the game most recently provided a paid only pack that you would receive a random five star crossover equipment but this is this is a lie included a crap four star equips as well they waited three days for admitting to it but it barely compensated anyone time and time again this is developer finds way to to be greedy liars since this is june the 7th i'm guessing they're referring to the godzilla stuff that happened when the godzilla pack and there it was like 40 bucks and you didn't get the actual like five star equip from it that uh out pool when finn ohala shorts wasn't on there and some other quests wasn't on the out pools that had refund the out everything like that um so that happened i can see they did that was false advertisement uh a lot of people was upset so i can understand what they're coming from i understand that uh you know that this is you don't like that i don't like that either um that doesn't need to happen um but they refunded all the stuff uh i made a whole video about it if you want to go watch it go watch it I know OP made a couple videos about it too, but yeah, it sucks when stuff gets false advertised and you know, especially in a game that you like or you're starting out new, it just sucks, man. Someone said this is the best free to play game ever. Okay, I'm gonna say this. Um, this game is free to play friendly, but it sucks because you are gonna be, if you're not paying in this game, you're gonna miss out on content, but you can, for free to play players, even though you wanna spend on a certain banner, um, and the pity system is lord jesus i say always save both crystals to get you know to that pity even not just tell me that like because it's just not after especially after all the summoning i did for free crystals it's just not you know worth not getting unit for so long because if you're new here i've been shafted i was shaft i've been i didn't get nothing for on a banner for like i didn't get a new support unit for almost almost over two years almost over uh, uh, probably a year and a half probably a year and a half i didn't get a new support unit and it sucked because i was summoning on all these banners sumiku juno you know nice of blood couldn't get rosetta just now got her so yeah it definitely sucks if you don't use pay crystals um but you know for some people free to play is it's good for them and if you need to do free to play that's there's nothing wrong with that free to play is the way to go now i've been spending money from here and there just for content but um but most of the time when i very first started posting grand summoners i was i wasn't spending any money on the game if you're free to play it's perfectly fine if you're paying you know it's perfectly fine your money do what you want with your money and you're playing the game do what you want with the game don't let nobody tell you how to play the game and if you think you can be free to play in this game that's perfectly fine some games it might suck to be free to play in but you know um it's just some people just have certain passion for certain love and hopefully certain games and maybe grand summers can even make it better or even give us more crystal you never know hey i take i take more all right we're gonna go into a couple more here uh we're just scrolling down fun game with cool crossovers a game uh, a, a good game with a lot of problems they need to start making a game more like a japanese version okay um um so we have this person right here calls update two stars Every time I log into the game, an update prompt shows up and I had to wait a little while for the download. Despite the game is the most recent version, this has been uh, happening ever since. Okay, so yes, um, actually, with one of my emulators on my computer, 
um, for one of my other accounts. I try to, every time I get on the game, I have to update it. Usually every time that I get on there to log in, to get a login bonus or something like that, or just to like update the account a little bit, do a little bit of maintenance to it. Um, yeah, it, it always has to update for a couple reasons because it's not like I'm just like doing it every six weeks or something. It's like probably like every, I probably log into it probably like every week or every other week around there. Um, and multiple days throughout the week too. So I don't know what's up every time I have to update it. Maybe it's just the emulator. I don't know. I don't know if this person's playing on their phone or not. I don't know what's the problem. All right. And we're going to leave this list right here is going to be the last couple of lists right here. It's just not bad, but definitely pay the rent. The pool rates are insane. When I paid, the pool rates was horrible. If you want to super ground for any decent character, good luck. Um, so yeah, definitely saving is very important. If you get lucky, you know what I'm saying? One and done summons that Sleepy goes through, um, that I do. Uh, but yeah, anyway, all I gotta say is, however you want to summon, summon. All I gotta say is, regard, I know OP says it too, I say it. If you want to summon, summon. If you don't want to summon, don't summon. But of course, we're gonna make videos to say if this banner's good or bad or not. Um, should we think you should summon? Should you summon? Uh, videos like that, but at the end of the day, if you want that unit, you like how that unit looks, you like how um, the unit this overall this plays out. Use that unit, go something for that unit. Unit, do whatever you want. Your account, your crystals, do whatever you want. We're just making a suggestion. There's some better you can skip. You can wait for some. You know, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I the rates on this. The race on this uh it's on this game is is pain uh man i remember that then welcome to the gacha community <laughs> pain this game is amazing a great new event the game is so awesome five stars and mm. steamy universe object one the game is amazing this is probably the best game i ever played this game has everything i can't resist getting in it every day i would love to see my hero academia crossover that would be amazing though that would be amazing interesting my hero crossover oh I'm not even sure they would do that because My Hero has a already a base IP and they have so many games on My Hero. My Hero's at their own gacha game, you know. So it, it would be it would be very interesting to see a My Hero crossover. I highly doubt it would happen, but it could happen. Like I said, always leave in the comments down below what crossover you want because I would love to see My Hero. I would love to see All Might, Endeavor, and Deku, in grand summoners that'd be freaking awesome man but yeah let me know how you feel about uh about some of the stuff in the comments down below free to play it seems like that's a lot of a lot of big things summoning rates there's a lot of big things of course that's a big thing when you're starting a new game out a new gotcha game out but yeah let me know how you feel about it let me know how you feel about crossovers and what crossovers should come should not be here should be here hopefully you will see in the future anything like that and yeah other than that let me know how you feel and uh stay sleepy